Oh, yes. 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 to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, uh, thank you, everybody, for attending this evening. Okay. All right, we have a uh, consent agenda. Is the first thing on the uh, um, order of business? Any additions or? Oh, we do have one addition for the um, the stump removal yeah. for the cemetery. 2K. You guys should have it. It was at the table. Yeah. Any other additions or alterations to the agenda, the uh, consent agenda? There being none, I'll make a motion that the agenda be approved as presented. Support. Okay, we have a motion support to approve the consent agenda with the one addition of um, 2K stump removal. Any other questions? Okay, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. And yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stover, yes. Motion carries. Okay, township spotlight. We don't have anything this month. Okay. All right. So, citizens' comment. Is this anybody would like to comment on anything that's not on the agenda? Or there'll be another thing. Uh, 26 mile extension on um, the agenda. I mean, it is got here. Well, no. we, it's not no. It's not on the agenda. Okay. We, okay. There's something that pertains okay. to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, if there's no other comments here, uh, first thing of order, 1A is budget amendments. I present you a list of budget amendments. I have, have to do. Any questions? Yeah, this first one, um, and you didn't give us a report that goes with it, but if I'm not mistaken, that budget contingency account was already used. So. You can't transfer money out of there that's not there. Okay. Um, the, the one that I was presented did have that in there. It had like, uh, it had, oh, it had something like, um, yeah, 28,460. It's negative. It's in parentheses. We'll have to, uh, to get circled back with you on this, okay? It's fine. Any other question on these? Uh, shall we shall we endeavor to call in um, King and King mm -hmm. to help on this for one fiscal year? Would you Would you be? No, uh, I'd be fine. I talked to him yesterday. Um, got it this. We had to get this budget um, aligned. And approved, and um, since there is such a separation of powers, and that's why we have a separation of powers, um, I suggest we call in one of Len King's staff mm -hmm. uh, for a fiscal year to help uh, with these budgets and the transfers and the amendments that have to be made. And then uh, when we get in the swing of things, uh, we'll see how it goes. Would you, um, would you? No, I wouldn't mind trying to help. Would that be all right? And if they're not willing to do it, there's plenty of classes and stuff out there. Yes. That yeah. You can take, Joe. Yeah, I, I know that. But I, I'm going to circle back with you on this. I, from what I understood, I thought I was. That, that's why last month I asked if you could, when you did need if you could put the report with it so that we can follow it because it's kind of hard. I mean, I have access to the general ledger so I can go in there, but these guys don't. Right. So for them to look at this, it's confusing. Whereas if they would have the 
the revenue and expenditures report, they can follow along with okay. the account numbers and whatnot. All right. And that might be, it, it just might be a, right. a good lesson in okay. learning. And also, too, I guess, whether you're willing to say we're going to table this and then I investigate it. Please, okay. uh, please do so we can. I have a question about that, though, because okay. these were already supposed to be done. And then we're putting up another month. Where does no. that put us? No, I will do like, it. Legally, where does that put well, us? Well, I talk, when I talked to the auditor, he said that we could um, make the changes in there. And if we have to, I mean, let's say if I do all these and I make changes, if we have to still do budget amendments, we do it the following month. Not to say that we couldn't call a special meeting. I could get delved into this, straighten it out, call a special meeting. <coughs> we probably shouldn't call a special meeting if we don't need to, just yeah. because that's. But I would, I would think um, it might be beneficial to call uh, to call them in. I know that in the past, and I don't like to dwell in the past, but in the past, um, quite often the auditors would come in and simply make the adjustments for. Uh, the supervisor and and we would approve it because they were proper amendments however that didn't teach that supervisor how to do this and this is the the budget is the number one priority mm -hmm. of any supervisor right. everything else is secondary to the budget of the township over which he has, um, I don't want to say control, but Overseas. oversight. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's the word I'm looking for. So I would suggest a phone call to Mr. King's office in the morning. And let's set up, I'm sure he has um, many CPAs in training. OK, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. So what we tabled this? Yes, please. Okay. Um, if, if, do I need a motion to do that? I don't. And I don't. Okay. Or yeah, table or postpone it, I should say. Okay. One B overhead street lights. This is I put in front of you. I uh, just got the last and clarified the thing from Detroit Edison, some information I was looking for. And I um, did the number crunching and Kath Columbus Township owes us uh, for shared costs on three lights here. Church Road, Meisner, and um, Palms there all on the Vision Road, $332.91. Per year? Per year. Have you talked to Columbus Township? I, ta I talked to Supervisor, um, up there a couple weeks ago and he said yeah submit it before they've rejected letters before sent to them because they didn't want to and i <laughs> they shared the liability cost in case someone hits the pulp and uh so i will resubmit that he said um bruce up there he said no that'd be fine send a letter it's a different board now Send a letter, send a bill, yeah. and if we get no response within 30 days, you go to their township board meeting and submit the bill in person. Yeah, their meeting's the same day as the time is ours. I'll excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Um, I just want to see the effect. <laughs> <laughs> did you figure out the new cost for Lennox and um, No, I did not. Yeah. We also share a light with um, Chinatown. Them too. Yeah, so. but I will crunch those numbers to see that I read Lennox and Chesterfield. So, okay, any other questions on these? I, I don't suppose that we could uh, collect this in arrears. Yeah. Well, <laughs> as far as you we, we have agreements, we have agreements <laughs> with Ira Township, Lennox, and Chesterfield for the lights we share with them. Not Chesterfield. Oh, not? Chesterfield. I thought there was one right there at um, we see I'm waiting and coming out. Okay, I thought I saw I don't think so. No, that's we not Chesterfield. I only built Iowa and Lennox. Okay, okay. That's Kitty Corbett. Corbett. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Yes. So I'll look into those and um, update those. <laughs>
Okay, Plan Commission Secretary. I talked with Rebecca Haynes today, and I told her about, well, I mentioned it um, a couple weeks ago, and I told her that, hey, we'd like you to um, fill in and do the Court Secretary for the May Plan Commission meeting, but afterwards, we'd like someone present. We we're going to have our Deputy Clerk present, so. She understood, although, for the record, for a recording secretary to look at recording is legal as long as the camera's not shut off. So it might be legal, yeah. but, not but to me it's not preferable. Okay. Right. Okay. And then, again, if something happens to the recording and you don't take notes, yeah. where are your minutes at? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Vicki will start in June then. Okay. Thank you. One. I don't know if we need to vote on that. Do we need a motion? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. I don't know if we need a Well, then, to make it perfectly clear, we could just do one. Beginning in June, my motion would be <coughs> that the deputy clerk uh, take the minutes of the planning commission meeting and um, write them up and submit them on time, in person, to all those who need copies. Okay, yeah. Well, how you went up here, just for how much time she spent, or what they're already paid? What were we, what were we paying? $75 a meeting. Yes, yeah. Is that amenable to you? Okay. Then I'll make the motion that you start at the $75. You know those meetings can go on and on, I did them before. Yeah, <laughs> she did. Yeah. Yeah. You also get um, free water. Oh, thank you. I support that. Since you bring the water in, I thought at least I can. Okay, we have a motion. Okay, we have a motion support to um, hire. Well, to um, have Vicki off as our plan plan commission record secretary. Um, what for seventy-five dollars a meeting, right? Okay. Okay. Any further discussion? Roll call vote. Anderson yes. Ian yes. Kaczynski yes. Stevens yes. Stover yes. Okay. New business termination of current code enforcement. No, I'm sorry. One D code enforcement job description. As you know, we've had a, a lot. We had to add out looking. We want to have a new code enforcement officer here in Casco. We want to step up our game. Our, our um, assessor, Shelly Baumeister, is also the assessor in Birchville Township, and she told me about their code enforcement officer up there, how they've been seeing good results. So I called up Mr. Mike Apple, the supervisor of Birchville Township, and he told me that they have their code enforcement officer work one day a week for eight hours, they pay him $30 an hour plus pay for court time. Um, they've been seeing good results on that. Um, the one thing I'm coding for, and we have a, a few things considered. One, you know, what hours we want them to work, their pay um, scale, and other than blight enforcement, what other duties do we would like to entail on this? Well, as a matter of fact, it would it would fall within the range of his obligation to act as the municipality zoning slash building department preliminary review, which means when someone uh, submits for a site plan and the assessor looks at this, and the deputy assessor runs all over Hills Half Acre, giving everybody the information they need. When that's, and then this person is to go out and make sure that that split is correct mm -hmm. with all of the uh, Zoning. rods and reels and this and that. Yeah, and this know. person. Yeah, I was wondering, doesn't that fall in Matt Lieber Charles? This person signs the split applications. Matt, yet yeah, Matt does the zoning on it. He places the building. He tells you 
it's 15 feet from this, it's 35 feet from the rear, but this person makes sure that, this, that the split yeah. is accurately but done. But expand Matt's position to include that? To me, it seems Matt's more like on Matt's. This, this is, this, this says the zoning, and municipality zoning, building department preliminary review. Um, I would, I would talk to Shelley about that. Okay. But the fact of the matter is, whoever signs that split does so for the township, and the township sends it up to the county, and we go back and forth and back and forth, and that signature says that this split is legal. So we can't just be putting it on somebody's desk and saying, sign this, you know, this is, this is split property. And believe you me, you know as well as I do, this last year, we've had a lot of splits. Mm -hmm. So um, we need to have someone know what it is they're looking at. When they're looking at property lines, they're looking at frontage. And yes, Matt has a place. If you, you want to put a building here, you ha he has to do the site and zone review. This apparently is a little bit more in-depth thing because this signature, um, along with the assessors, is on that split package. Yeah, currently right now, the supervisor does that. Yeah, good luck with that. I mean, if you know what you're doing, fine. Well, I rely, but on, if you, I rely on Shelby's expertise. Well, that would be like me relying on your expertise in accounting and you on mine. We do our own due diligence. Mm -hmm. And so this person, whoever it is, has to do their due diligence too. Yeah, splits can be kind of complicated. They can be. You know the history of the property, yeah. the numbers of the past. Mm -hmm. so, it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. Good. Very much so. Okay. Good. So it will be, it will be something that is discussed with whomever we uh, interview and hire and see if he is, she is um, amenable to, to that. Yep, and up to the task. And other than that, I would simply love to have this person study the current zoning ordinances. Of course, for blight, which is our, our biggest um, problem. Also, people seem to have a lot of questions on proper fencing, things like that. I've had two um, calls today that took up more time than they should, but they were very agreeable about uh, roving ducks and <laughs> llamas and things like that. So people have to know that the zoning says your animals must be contained. Okay, I don't care how you do it, just keep them out of the path of my road. Um, or the neighbor's yard. Or the, or the, <laughs> the yes, the neighbor's yard. yard. That woman is very upset about, you know, when ducks lay eggs in other people's yards, you know who goes after the duck's eggs? Foxes. And then they dig up her petunias, and then it's an entire morning's conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but if it were my garden, we live in the country. You wouldn't get a second chance. Okay. They go over to the next person's pond. Yes. That's a real issue. But anyway, anyway, mm -hmm. those are the, the major things that this poor okay, person so has to deal with. We're looking with. at code enforcement. Code enforcement. And zoning. And zoning. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Um, the light representation of the township at all costs, especially if you're dealing with <coughs> neighbor's problems. And he has to know when to say, I'm sorry, but this is a civil matter, and you have to. You know how many times I've said that since I was Well, and, and haven't we all. <laughs> and haven't we all. Um, but he has to know the difference about what a, a township ordinance is and what a civil matter is. Right. We only have so much money for the lawyer's office. Yeah, yeah. So. And I'm willing to spend it all on ducks. Well, <laughs> I want to next, my next month hire somebody. Well, we, we can set up, and how would you prefer to do that? Um, we can ask them to come in to a township board meeting. Is that what you would prefer? And one at a time. 
um, interview them. Yeah. I also did some research online and I printed off um, a couple different, um, there was a City of Livonia, Charter Township of Lansing, and Village of Oxford. They're um, basically their um, essential job functions and the position summary. Um, so if we want to put something like that together too, mm -hmm. just so everybody's on the same page as far as what we expect. What the responsibilities sure. are. And so <clears throat> did you think, you now who was it that said they talked to other townships, <clears throat> that one day a week in, in this building with uh, a desk space? That's what Shelly was saying. Where? Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll find I was going to say the basement. Well, that's, now, that's yes. all we have. Yeah. Yeah. So they have a place to meet residents. Yes, it's, it's all we have. Keep the records. Mm -hmm. They're not anywhere else but here. Yeah, yeah. They have a be phone. Here. They yes. Can answer phones. Yeah. Do you guys want someone that drives around once a week? Or however you want. I mean, that'd be something we'd have to. So that this come up if you want to interview people, you kind of have to know what you want. To know that. Yeah. Well, we have. We have obvious violations going on now. I'm hoping after uh, this person is in office and has the job going for a while that it won't be so very much of that. Um, and we do respond as well as we can to people calling in. Right. We just need to make sure it's followed up. On yes. That. There's a lot of catch-up and once that's done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of catch-up. Yeah. Um, Supervisor Apple and Birchfeld, he said that too. He goes, they went up. But he said the one thing would blight an ordinance violation. So it's never ending battle. Though. Well, I'm, I'm sure it is. It's a never ending battle in the city and, and well, in every town. But they said the good ordinance enforcement officer sets the tone and then people kind of know what to expect. And what not to do. Yeah. What not to do and to approach them so courteously we'll, and without threat. And I'll, I'll look and I'll probably make you get some guidance. I mean, if we, when we do interval, it, we would still ask to be a public meeting. Yes, well, we've always hired people publicly. We've interviewed whatever the position was, one person at a time. Yes, yeah. and in the resolution it says it should be hired by yes. the board. Right. Yes, right. so we can do that and ask them to come to the yeah. uh, June board meeting. But do you want you guys, no, this is, do you yeah, guys no, want this to know is. like how much you're going to pay? So I'm sure it's going to be a question asked. Yeah. Hours. I mean, I think I think that's still up for negotiation with the board. Yeah. I I know what we were paying before. Right. One of these, um, <laughs> it's probably a full time position, but they pay like forty seven thousand dollars annually. No. Well, I'll do that job. Well, I was going to say that's one that I make, so I'll do it too. This no, one they make. I'd be miserable at this one's job. part time, and it's fourteen to seventeen dollars an hour. So it's like it all reasonable. over the place, yeah. you know. Like Birch, you know Birch, 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 is just a smaller community too. Yeah, right? Birchville they do thirty dollars an hour. So thirty dollars an hour. Yeah. Again, <laughs> my resume. Right. Be well, they, of course, that's what Richard. Does. They have all that. Well, one thing Birchville has that we don't have are short-term rentals because they have a their Eastern thing that's like here on. Oh. So they got no. people in the summer, you know. Oh, well, we'll see. You know, we'll be in B. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's time that this township uh, move to something like that. I think that I think it, that's going to be negotiable. Yeah. It will, we'll keep a lid on it, but I think we also have to keep an open mind. Sure. Okay. All right. Anything else on this matter? So we have four or five. Yes. You guys, yeah, if you, we mm -hmm. need copies, yeah. please hold on to them or give them back to us okay. because we're not going to need more copies. Right. So now, here's, now, here's another time saving, and you can throw this to the wind if you like. Would you like to have one or two people um, going through candidates and putting forth the best ones that they think, or would you just like to? There's only like five to, at yeah. this point, so I don't yes, think yeah, I mean, no, after, I after think this I, monumental I, amount yeah. of money, I mean, it's, I expect the line to be out I, of I think to be fair, <laughs> any, anyone who submitted a resume in a letter of intent, we should interview them. 
All right, then it's going to be a long meeting. It's only what? Pack your water bottles. No, we, we have them on the plate as they come out of it. I know, I, we've done it before. We should have questions. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to ask all the same questions to all candidates. We can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like a just like I'll a get the rules. debate. Right? Yeah, I'll get the rules on that. But yeah, we have to be very specific on that stuff. And it would probably be helpful if we had those questions ahead of time. Yeah. And give them to the people so they're prepared. Oh, you want them to be surprised. No. No, I want them to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't go to interview and get questions beforehand. Not with law enforcement. No? no. In IT. You nope. don't think so? No, I've never gotten questions on that time nope. ever. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. No, well, and when we did school the job doctors. description is, should right. be good enough. Yeah, they should hmm. do their own research. Oh, well, I mean, honestly, I, and, and we'll talk about that. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Anything else? I'm not here to play I gotcha. To, I used to okay. interview a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> No, okay. proceed. Next one, um, to a termination of current code enforcement mm -hmm. officer. I called Nick Bubba up yesterday <coughs> and I told him our intention that we're wanting to look to the future and kind of amp up the game. He understood, he was very professional about it. And he, he says that, you know, he'll, no, he fully understands what we're going to do. So. And I appreciated that he did that. Oh, I appreciate his um, efforts on our behalf, and I make a motion to terminate the current code enforcement officer. I support that. We have a motion to terminate the current code enforcement officer, and a uh, motion to su and a support. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 I think it should be called roll call. Roll call vote. Yeah. Anderson, yes. Colston, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stover, yes. Okay, vote five yes. Motion carries. Okay, change the date for the June board meeting. We will be gone um, for the second Tuesday in June to a clerk's conference. So we would like to move it to the first Tuesday. Which the sixth. The sixth, which yep. is also the day of that audit, though. Um, well, but that's all right because we can clear everything out. Yeah, yeah. that, that doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm just I'm well, hearing our numbers will be in by yeah. then from the banks. Okay. Sometimes, if not, then I'll I'll just give you the financial report yeah. Yeah. the day after I get it. Yeah. Okay. We have a. Do oh, you want to make a motion on that? I'll make a motion to change the June board meeting to the first Tuesday of the month instead of the second Tuesday. <coughs> For June. For June, to allow the clerks to go to their conference. Support. Okay, we have a motion to support to move the June meeting from Tuesday, June 13th to Tuesday, uh, June um, 6th at 7 p.m. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, add ons for landscaping. This should be in your packet. Mm -hmm. That was just the extra stuff. Um, when they were here, I had them finish up the other flower bed and over here, get a couple more bushes because they needed it. Yeah. Okay. How much is that going to be? It's in the packet. They did such a wonderful job. They really did. I really appreciate their efforts. And I did go get a hose. Today, so we can walk. Oh, so they don't die. Good idea. <laughs> All right. Um, wait a second. I'm looking here. I had it a minute ago. There we go. I make a motion um, to reimburse. Approve the add on. The add on for uh, $1,100. I'll support that. Okay, we have a motion support. To approve the add ons for landscaping for $1,100. Um, any other discussion? Roll call vote. Anderson, yes. And yes. Kaczynski, yes. Steven, yes. Stover, yes. yes. Okay, um, 2D assessor Shelley Baumeister. 
Shelly. Yes, Shelly, um, she got a raise. Yes. And um, I can't remember how much, it was very minimal, yeah. whatever it was. Um, but since then, we took a Zoom um, conference Payroll course, something, yes. and we found out that she's not supposed to be on payroll and getting a 1099, which has been in effect since before she was even the assessor. Yes. So we had to switch her to all payroll. So her taxes went up. So anything that she got from her raise goes to the federal government and right for down. taxes. Um, but she had said in lieu of receiving a raise again or whatever, um, that she would like to um, be on the, the pension that we get. Yes. So I pulled out um, the ordinance and the resolution that um, the board did back in the 70s and the 90s. And I think we're going to need to either amend the ordinance or whatever, do a new resolution to, to add her in there. If that's what okay. we decide to do, yeah. So right now it talks about like... Uh, Right now it says that according to the fringe benefits, all members of the township board get it and all township employees who are employed for more than 20 hours per week. Which, she's only here one day a week, mm -hmm. but she works all, right. I, I, you know, mm -hmm. she takes phone calls on the weekend, which I've told her not to because, you know, it's her time off or whatever, but she basically works for us full time, but she's not in the office full time. She's available full time. So I don't know how you guys want to handle that. As far as, you know, is she really full time? Then we probably don't even need to amend this. Well, I, I would say for the assessor, I would say Shelly is. For the community of this. Then we don't even need to amend it. Because, because she's full time. She, she is available full time. Yeah, to I me, she is anyway. Yeah. 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 I've, she I've is. called her, like, mm -hmm. on, you know, whenever. Yes. Yeah, same here. And she might, she has office hours at the three or four other townships, plus she works for the state of Michigan. Um, but she is never not available to us. Right. Yeah. So that being said, that means that we can, uh, we can consider her a full-time employee. We can uh, include her in the benefit package. And I would like also for her to have uh, mileage when she's doing work in Casco Township, her driving, her driving around. So if that's, if she is, if she's satisfied with that, you know, she lost a great deal in this transition. Right. Um, and I, mean, I feel bad, but she's, they said, you know, the IRS is like a big red flag to yeah, do that. Yeah, okay, so, well, I'll know. tell you, it's okay. best to stay on the good side yeah, of the I IRS. Think, so, um, I'd like to get a copy of that just to look at over that resolution on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I can serve for an assessor shall be full time. Okay. So do we just need to make a motion then? So, I and so. I think that should just go back to January. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you make that motion so I, I get it? Sure. Correct. I make a motion to um, add Shelley Baumeister as. Um, full-time employee. Full employee as of January 1st, 2023, With and to receive benefits. the pension, you know, the fringe benefits that, that we have as a support. Okay, we have a motion support to... Plus mileage. Plus mileage. Um, yes, that's to, one of the benefits. To convert Shelly Baumeister to payroll employee and what to uh, right, yeah, she's got in the pension and plus mileage. Okay, any other further questions? Okay, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stover, yes. Okay, pay increase for constable. Our um, constable Chad Zenkis gets $28 per inspection. I don't think that's been raised in a long time. We have a lot of money in the liquor control fund, and that's the only way we can use the, um, those funds, our state liquor inspection. Fund. And the state doesn't it's, like it when we have a big balance yeah. in that account, and we do because, <clears throat> because of COVID, 
things were shut down, and then Wayne didn't do them, yeah. you know, every month that he was supposed to, so we had like a huge backlog. So I, I'm as right here. As long as people understand that this fund is state funded. Mm -hmm. Correct. This is not it taxpayers' yeah. money. Right. Well, it's it is. Well, <laughs> but somewhere. not through cancer. That's right. Yes, but not okay. directly speaking on your particular tax. Well, I would bills. say, I don't know if it's out of range, but what about like $35 a stop? Yeah, I don't think you. I don't think we've increased this in years. No, we haven't because I've been putting in two hundred and thirty-seven dollars a month for at least twenty years. So forty. Yeah. You know. Thirty. I, we'll start off with thirty-five. What do you think? What would you say? Thirty-five or forty. I mean. I'd say let's ignore It's 11, what does he have, 11 stops? 10 stops. So, no, I just wanted to let him go pull on Did we, so, did we add a, a license? We didn't add. No. Um, we lost one. We lost Tommy's. And then the golf courses were closed didn't. in the winter. Right, so now they're back open. So they're back open. And they used it's either two. either 10 or 11, I'm sorry. They I used two I licenses. think it's 11. I think it is 11. All right, 11. Yeah. Okay. So I think 40 would be mileage, but yeah. if that's, he doesn't. Because you're talking mileage. like the difference between 35 and 40, mm -hmm. it's $50. Okay. Okay. So I'll make a motion to uh, do a pay increase for the constable to $40 per stop. I support that. Okay, we have a motion in support, uh, Gina supported it, um, to increase the pay for a constable to $40 per inspection. Any further questions? Okay, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Colston, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stonery, yes. Okay, pay increase for Andrew McDonald. Right now, the, the, the ladies here, um, our clerk and deputy clerk, are embarking on a major project down at the cemetery. We're getting records straight, <laughs> cleaning it up, doing some renovations, and we hired Andrew McDonald several months ago to be there and uh, how much uh he's doing the physical doing work the, yeah the you're doing the mental work what would you uh i'd say 20 would be minimal well, it's a lot of hard work yeah i know and i mean the lawn care company was 50 dollars 55, 55 an hour per employee that they brought out here to work for us okay. they didn't kind of clean it up anyway it's 55 per person. Make, yeah, per hour. hour. You're making a motion to that effect? I'll make okay. a motion. I, I didn't hear the motion. What? I didn't hear the How much? The dollar amount. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear it. She said, oh, 20. Okay. I right. said no. I what? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do more? When, when, when you see it. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm fairly sure we're going to have uh, an end of season review with him. Yeah. Like, you know. Uh, sure. Let's hope he sticks let's sticks on it. Right. Let's hope we can find somebody who's very, very good at grinding stumps and not. Oh, we. The quotes in here. The quotes in here. Because you have to have Okay. Yeah. So you're. Are you company. standing at twenty dollars an hour? If anybody else. Yes, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So Dan, Dan, who's supported Dan? That's important. Yeah. Okay. We have a motion to increase uh, Andrew McDonald's pay to twenty dollars an hour. We have support for that. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other um, comments? Okay. Roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Goldstein, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stilber, yes. Okay. 2G. Township wide garbage pickup on ballot. We've had a lot of calls about why isn't our garbage, you know, part of the township wide and why do I have to call and get my own garbage company? So we thought, I mean, we could put it on the ballot and it could get voted on. We could put it on the ballot, it could get voted on, but we have to do our due diligence beforehand because there are, um, there are many townships that are having a hard time with garbage pickup. I, I was going over some things today with, with my deputy she pulled up something, so many parcels, whatever. Those people, because it because it was on their tax bill, 
they were paying for it, they were paying $23 uh, a month. And it went $23 a month. I mean, I pay. It's $62 I, a quarter, so that's. I, but <coughs> before we even float it on a ballot, we have to make sure that there would be people willing to do this. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, and then also, too, whichever, I mean, I would think we would contact a couple different companies, mm -hmm. and I would think that they should give us a break. If they're getting the whole township, if they're getting then the it whole should be township. cheaper than what we do as individuals. Right. But then we have to figure out, <coughs> and I, I really haven't looked into this, so I don't know, but we would have to figure out how do we build this yeah. right yeah. yeah addresses only if i if i own three contiguous parcels i'm certainly not paying for trash paper right. on my two contiguous yeah, parcels right. etc etc there, there's a, so there's a lot to go into yeah. that yeah there's I mean, it doesn't, yeah. I don't care either way. Well, I, I know. People are by right. they're they're asking figure these Well, also, out too, there. like they're Linda, asking. our deputy uh, treasurer, was saying that, you know, doing that, the assessment, how do we do this because of the. Yeah. Yeah, that's the. Um, I don't, there's probably, I don't know, Colleen Dan and I were there when we um, breached this before. Well, I just but you just had it at the board meeting yeah. and put it on the ballot. Oh, no, right. it wasn't on the ballot. Yeah, oh, Karen, our supervisor, Karen Holt, had a, uh, um, a public hearing. And because boy, did we it, get a public hearing. Well, it was oh. requested. The township board was approached by waste management mm -hmm. to <coughs> bid out the entire township. Now, and that's the only reason we brought it to the township, was because waste management asked for it, right? We were lucky to get out of that meeting with our lives. Yeah. <laughs> it was the biggest Great outcry. Yeah. yeah. People want to choose we're their very own independent own sort of yeah. Some of us have yeah. some that, mm -hmm. you know, small firm. And uh, it's it's no support. small deal it's to yeah. put something like that no small deal. tax <coughs> on the tax bill. Yeah. Right. There was um the hall was packed. There's people downstairs, there are people wow. outside. Oh yeah. 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 Well, was. but you know, when someone Bring some a bid to the township board, and you have to put it out, right? You know, that's just the way it right. is. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of um, practical limitation. I see the benefit on that, I'd be nice at being well. The cost, yeah, the cost factor if everybody was in on it, yeah, and you could get your trash picked up for $23 instead of $62, yeah, I'd say but that was pretty good. But you know. People in Casco, there's a big independent streak out here in the township a lot of times. <laughs> well, like, not not lately. It seems uh, there's a lot of people I moving in know. from the city. Well, it's not that uh, they expect yeah, they somebody expect. wants to bear put off for so a month and then tell them before they come. Right. They have no idea. Well, we do. We do. We do. Yeah. 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 Y
we need to find a couple companies that would be willing to bid us out, yeah. and then we have to do the paperwork to find out. We have 1,800 parcels that I, 1,870 some parcels that I bid out for tax bills, mm -hmm. but only, you know, I can't yeah, even tell you how many are residents. Right. And if, um, you know, <laughs> and if it's, um, we find that it's such a big logistical hurdle or yeah. yeah, we'll just have to. We need to know what the administrative costs are for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a major issue. Yeah, yeah. and we anyway. mm -hmm. and we would have to. Um, and if not, we decide not to put this on the We'll just have to educate people. Hey, you know, you have to pick up your own trash pickup. Mm -hmm. you know, well, we do that when they yeah. come in with a property yeah. transfer. That's the first thing we ask them is, you know, who's picking up your trash, and then we give them the three choices that are in the township. Everybody knows that when they walk out of here. Mm -hmm. I don't think people buying property, though, if they're looking out here, understand how different it is than living in a city. Yeah, right. And yeah. That, it's, it's like a the shop. realtors need to educate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or you oh, know, if I was yeah. selling my house to, and it, I would happen to be there with a walkthrough, yeah. you bet I would educate. Yeah, you would have to. And we try to, we do that in the treasurer's office. They, uh, and and it's always helpful, speaking to that, the, the education, um, if we have a township letter, like we used to have when Bill, but you know, we don't need the 42 pages <laughs> that Bill did, just simple, mm -hmm. you know, here's where you call for uh, 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 fire permits, mm -hmm. you know, you've got these, that hall and this hall, and this is what you're closest to, just things, general oh, information. Okay. You know, and I, we've got that. We have all that information easily done. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in the fact that the Richmond City Council uh, no longer does the welcome baskets like they did oh, a few you mean years the ago. Of Commerce. The cha is that yeah, yeah. Chamber of Commerce? Yeah. Um, th those were very helpful for Richmond businesses, you know, things like that. And then we would put our newsletter in, all of the churches would put their little newsletters in, things like that. We could tell them about the council on aging, but um, that is not something that Richmond does anymore. So they have to rely on the information they get just walking through the township halls. So. Okay. Okay, we'll have to do some... Uh research into this before we because and if we do put on bail we'll have to uh, educate people on yeah we're going to be doing this we have to get past the county before we even think to put anything on a tax roll that's not as easily said as done and we might also notify residents uh, what three are available in the township now and that yeah. can answer a lot of questions yeah Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we can put that on our website. It's right in the in the lobby. We have uh, everybody's advertisement out there. <coughs> All right. <coughs> okay. Any other question on that or comments? Okay. If not, two H. I've enclosed here um, a resolution for the board to consider. This is a resolution to. Proposal use of American Rescue Plan monies of $16.3 million to Iowa Township Filtration Project. Okay, as you know, the county was awarded $23, $23 million in ARPA money. And first, there was some in the county who wanted to spend, Iowa Township needs a new wastewater treatment plant to build that because the one they share with Elginac in Clay Township is 50 years old and reached your capacity, so you need a new one. Not just that, they're going to use it to extend sewer lines down to the Marine City Highway Corridor and have sewer lines for BT Road to Starville Road. Well, a lot of that has gotten beat back. Um, but a lot of, there were still some attempts, some, um, some of the members of Board of Commission still want to spend some of the money out there. A lot of the communities here in the county has been put in non-binding resolution saying that the $23 million, um, there's, was it in here, um, seven million is gonna be taken by the county, they have to do some capital upgrades on some of their buildings. So that leaves 16.3 million. 
Um, a lot of the communities, resolutions exactly like this, want to divide it up seven ways for seven commissioners, and the commissioners will divide their share up among their communities by population. For Casco Township, would roughly come to about um, $100 per resident. And we have currently 3,990 residents, something like um, give or take. And that would be, oh geez, that would be three, um, $393,000. Um, can Casco use that money? Absolutely. The county engineers gave me a list of seven large holes. One of them is going to be replaced this year. Seven large culverts that need replacement. Soon they're going to be, some of them, if not already, so they're going to be load limited. So that kind of affects the city <laughs> and township. Um, two, we got a couple more miles of Sinclair Highway overlay I'd like to get done. Plus, there's always stuff like more ditching. This. God so, bless you for doing the ditches. What's that? God bless you for doing the ditches. <laughs> <laughs> That's a never ending chore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, this is an island binding here here so it just what basically um, it states what I just said that um, this would be a non-binding resolution and just us as Casco saying hey we would like that 16.3 divided up among seven times with county commissioners and they divided up between their communities. Is this something that they already voted on? The no not yet. What other communities did these? Oh, lots of them. Uh, China Township um, did one. Uh, the land, Kenoki's doing the thing. I use Lynn Townships. Oh, uh, there's been several. I don't know the exact Wales. number. Wales. Does it, yeah. I mean, it's basically, they're going to do what they want anyway. Yeah, it's just our, it's the board saying, hey, this is what we would like if you would like. It divided up the 16.3, seven ways, and then the commissioners divided up according to population for each community. Or, you know, or you don't. You think. I think we should adopt the resolution. I mean, it's to the benefit, from my mind, to cast on a number of things. I don't think we want to accelerate the growth down on the main city highway at this time. I don't know that we're ready to do that, even though the economic development folks would like to see us do that. It's, we have a lot of projects, and it's a fair way of dividing the funds. And, you know, we, and our commission has been pretty good about this. My, my, to, my feeling is this. I'm not opposed to our township building new wastewater treatment. No, not at all. Sewer in our area, especially toward the west, we're already zoned on both sides of the road. It will eventually come. How it gets funded, that's up, you know, to the future. Um, we knew that that would happen ever, ever, ever since that 26 mile road was connected to the so we knew that eventually that would happen. You know, this urban sprawl and that. But um, yeah, we could use the money here for our residents on capital improvements here within the township. Immediate benefits. Yeah. Immediate benefits. Should I move that we adopt the resolution to oppose the use of the American Rescue Plan monies uh, from $16,300,000 to Ira Township Water Filtration Project? Okay. That we oppose that use. Okay. I don't even read the whole thing out. I will if you want me to. <laughs> okay. Is there support for this? I support it. Okay. So we have a motion support to accept the resolution 2023-09, resolution to oppose the use of American Rescue Plan Act monies of $16.3 million of the Iowa Township Water Filtration Project. Okay. We have to do a roll call vote on the resolution? No, I can't even name it. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> this is gonna, there's some typos that need to get fixed. So. Okay. Yes. 
Have him call me when the check is in the mail. <laughs> right? All right. Any MC representative, I called, um, contacted Wayne Bumgardner, and he sat down. And he, he just because of his health cannot attend. I asked another resident, Dennis Hock, he would like to attend a meeting. I always go to it. Their meetings are in a couple more weeks, so I'll take Dennis to it and uh, see if he's interested. Okay, that would be nice. Okay. So I guess we need to accept the resignation of Wayne Bumgardner. I will move that the township board accepts the reservation reser the say the word for me resignation, resignation <laughs> thank you of William Baumgarten I'll support to uh, NEMC okay we have a motion to accept a motion support to accept the resignation of William Baumgartner is it an NEMC representative um, any further discussion all in favor aye, aye. motion carried Bell River Park Bad Park. We saw that um, the Six Rivers Conservancy was going to be hosting a bad viewing event in September, and we weren't aware of that. So I called Chris Bunch from um, Six Rivers Conservancy, and Chris said that they were filling out their calendar, and he said, yeah, he should have called. Yeah. But, um, on that, I called our um, insurance company, Nickel and Saf. Steve Saf said that we'd be covered for an event like that. Plus, Chris said they carry insurance for events like that. The individual who's leading the bad hike is a um, an expert on that. Well, I guess works with the Treasury Zoom on that. So, I mean, it's a really nice event. It seems like I guess we just. My concern is. We're getting close to um, start the show. Well, I talked to our park planner. We're getting close to getting okay from the state to start setting up bids for construction in phase one, phase two. So if there is construction at the time, there could be some stuff that we have to um, see where we can minimize any kind of um, you know, danger or liability or that. This is just an aside, but I think we've been awfully lucky to have the Six Rivers Conservancy active in our area. They helped us purchase the park. They actually purchased the land so that we can mm -hmm. apply for grants. And they're just, they do all kinds of things. They put out a very nice newsletter regularly. Yeah. And they do a lot of stuff. Yeah, what they they're do. They're a very good charity. What they do is help communities develop land for recreational uses. And like for us, with the Dan Sands. They, um, we had land which we still have and rent most of the farmland on Meisinger Road. Well, eventually we thought we'd get a park, but we don't have a full-time police force. Well, in several years ago, the owner of the property where the park is now offered it to sale. We could have used our parks and rec money bought it, that we get from the millage and buy it, but you like to keep that stuff for operating cost. So Six River, I think Sinclair County Parks and Rec puts a, put us in contact with Six Rivers and they bought the property and held it in trust to get off the market. And we went ahead and applied for a DNR um, um, grant, resources grant to buy it. It was like two years ago, right? Oh, it's been or is it eight years ago. ago. Yeah. We officially opened the park in 2019. So it's going on four years. June I guess COVID just like yeah. yeah, sucked up the timeline. But the net cost of the park was a fraction of what we yeah. Sure. Yeah. Our own yeah, so right now um, <coughs> we have we bought the park with that DNR um, grant there, and we have two passport grants. Passport grant is the grant, let's say, if you pay on your license to go in the state park and DNR boat launch. And those monies are used to give communities on grants <coughs> to develop parks. We were successful. We got two grants. We're just we're combining them for construction costs. So we just have to the second passport grant has to get its final approval from the state, and then our park planner will send out the bid package there to line up. So, so Gina, you and I will make sure that by September there are at least 
two or three back houses okay. there. You can shimmy up a pole and <laughs> <laughs> shimmy them up there. You don't want to see that. I well, <laughs> better be sure somebody want. else. But we'll get some sure. bad houses out there for these people to come and and serenade their bats. Okay. It's yeah. nice of them to come. Yeah, it's just that yeah, and Chris apologized for it. He said he should have called us first and uh, and but um, we'll just have to uh, you know put the word out. I'm it's a good event, it just want to make it a safe event. And you checked with the insurance company regarding liability, right? Yeah, yeah. we're covered. We're covered. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Plus Chris um, Six Rivers also offers coverage too. Yeah, Chris said that one of his reps were supposed to be here tonight, and so many things come up. Is there an actual issue, say, if the uh, youth hostels decide to have a, a, a nature hike in our park? Is that an issue, or can they just do that? Well, right now the park is open. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's open. And People could go hike it. Yeah, and a group could take somebody, take their group right. there if they're a church or, yeah. or whatever. That yeah. doesn't seem like a problem. Okay. Or it should be a problem. It should not be a problem. Okay. Any other question? Okay. Um, <coughs> 2K stump <coughs> removal. So we had um, a company come out and give us a quote for the cemetery. There's 32 stumps. Some are wow. like huge. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are real close to graves. So they're going to like gently move what they can and like maybe grind it down a little bit down. below but not disturb the graves and yeah. then you know what I mean. Wow. wow. And if there's anything that's questionable then you don't do those. Yeah. Well they're the experts. Yeah. So and then eventually I think there's gonna be some trees that need to come down that are mm -hmm. dead because we wouldn't want um, we wouldn't want those to yeah. Come down and, and fall on any mm -hmm. uh, and tree line. Okay. Okay, and uh, how much is it for stump removal? Um, it's in the packet. It's uh, fifty-one ninety-six. Okay, fifty-one ninety-six for thirty. Thirty-two. They clean up and yeah. okay. Are they bonded? Have they got insurance? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, yeah. I think so. Make a motion to pay this company for the stump removal and so cool. clean up. Sorry. So what's the name of the company again? Brian. Brian. Okay. Brian. Okay. Brian. We have a motion to accept a bit of Brian tie for how much? Uh, uh, it was, let me see. $5,196. Mm -hmm. And you support that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We give them half down and now, mm -hmm. and then when they complete the job. Okay. It's fine. Any other questions on this? Okay. Roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Rolston, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stover, yes. Okay. Um, citizen comments. Anyone like to discuss anything that? Maybe keep their interest or in So what do you people think about trash pickup? Yeah. Do you want me to cover the police? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> hey, thank you for waiting I for mean, this. you spent good money on it. <laughs> 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 Nick Kramer, I live right down the road at 48 Melbourne. Mm -hmm. I've been, I've lived a lot of places in this country with trash pickup, and it, it's a nightmare no matter where you go. Sault Ste. Marie, you had to pay for your own, but you had to buy tags. That went on the garbage bag or the garbage can. Wow. If the can was over 50 gallons, they wouldn't take it. Even if it only had one bag in it, they wouldn't take it. Wow. They would just leave it. Wow. Other places said two cans. Anything over that, they don't take it. If it's not in the can, they won't take it. Wow. If, you know, if they have, they, a lot of them have different requirements on what what they'll take and what they won't take. I mean, they can't take certain things, obviously, the tires and yeah. hazardous mm -hmm. materials, but. They won't pick up if it's more than two or three cans. They won't take them. They'll just leave it out there. Go on to the next one. And so they never say with J and J. Yeah, that's. I love like J. I have yeah. I have J and J. Me too. Yeah. I, I, I put one can out one week, and then one month I might put 
35 feet of stuff out there. And yeah, I actually missed, uh, missed it, you know, like <coughs> we didn't put it out with like a holiday and I thought it was supposed to go out the next day. I called them and they came and picked mm -hmm. it up. And, and they, they will they, let you put out like one sofa or something. Okay. One, oh, one large, one large, 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 large. Or give them a heads up, just asking you to do it this week or next yeah. week. And they, they, they do, do in all the, yeah, and they're local. Yes. yes, and all the places out here, from I know different people that have different companies. Yeah. They have different prices yep. for different age categories. If you're a senior citizen, yeah. they have a different yeah. rate. If you're low income, they have different rates. Waste management won't do that. Right. No. GFL right. won't do that. Yeah, J and J, even if you pay in, um, they'll bill you quarterly, but if you want to pay a full year, they give you a break. They'll give you a well, I mean, there isn't these tremendous uh, price escalations yeah. that you experience with some, with some what do you pay? communities. Yeah. However, you know, if you're open to suggestion, waste management is having a pine tree acres landfill this, this is open house. To, it's, for, it's not for the public. It's not for the public. It's for you guys. But it should be a business. You have to ask the investigate. Call them in. You have to feel No way I can do that, any, but any, uh, any I do, I do <coughs> want to throw out there, um, we are going to do a cemetery cleanup, so anybody who wants to know, on TV too, um, beginning uh, on Saturday, May 20th, so anybody who has loved ones there, if they can remove anything that they want to keep, such as wreaths or plastic flowers or ornaments or whatever, Otherwise, if it's still there, there's a lot of grave blankets that need to, we're going to take care of those and, and get rid of them. And if anybody knows anybody that's there or have loved ones there or whatever, we want to um, put flags for the veterans, which hasn't been done, I don't know in how long. What? So as we're going through all the cemetery records and stuff, we found what, six? Six Civil War. Six Civil War. Six World War II. One and, and then seven World War II so far. Know who contacted VFW in Richmond? They'll do that. They'll put flags. We already got flags. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm nice work. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was our baby. Now I would like to go see these yeah. Civil War. I know. I know. It's yeah. very cool. Yes. Yeah. Um, about your cemetery cleanup, we've been doing St. Michael's Cemetery. We do two a year. And we have a okay, we always do a fall cleanup the first Saturday in November and the spring cleanup the first April Saturday, depending on when Easter falls. Sometimes mm -hmm. you may have to. Well, yeah, yeah. we will eventually do that. It's just yeah. we, and it, yeah. it's nice. It's we've, a big problem, o over so. the year, we've gotten a lot of people, and um, and it's it's always a fun time to get together with people. And, you know, you clean up for fall so people could put the winter decorations on in the course of spring, clean it up. Get it look good for the warm water. Nope, I cannot be there um, at a convention that we can. Okay, any other? Um, I looked into with the county to get a haul route on BT Road in our industrial district. Um, that's right off Mooney City Highway. We have three firms that have trucks. They beat up the road. I went up to the county and I naively asked them for seven hundred thousand to pave it. I think you more or less laughed at me. <laughs> well, they got all that ARPA money. <laughs> and it's on the front court over there. And um, so, but there's a thing uh, program. You know, delved into it with the um, road commission about having those three companies help maintain the road. Bond the yeah. road. Yeah. So. It's only fair. We have three residents on it. They shouldn't be bonded. They only have passenger cars. But yeah, three firms that bring in trucks all the time. And yeah, that's not fair to the rest of the, the residents if they're not. If they're beating up the road, they're not for it. I'm sure one of them have a road grader. They just go out there and scrape it and be done. Well, yeah, I think they ought to start a county line and take our highway from Kroger. That's a river dump site there with all the plastic no, bags. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, don't you just well, what could be done about that? Oh, that, yeah. that field. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, it's Lennox still right there, isn't it? That no, that's Richmond. Richmond blows in the gas going up. And it's even coming across the track. It's so far yep. out quick. And it's coming right down the track. All right. Any other comments or questions? Okay. Um, so, um, tomorrow we have the meeting with the architect. Mm -hmm. Yep, at 10 o'clock. Um, we're meeting with the architect to build another hall addition. We need another precinct for voting, one that's ADA compliant and a little bit more flexibility than having the basement. Um, so right now we're looking to put a room, basically, or get the room there so we have another precinct, have an IT closet plus a clerk's closet where we secure the voting equipment. And once that's complete, we get it up and going and ready for the elections next year. Then we could we would think about redoing um, the the office the offices downstairs to make it more flowable, work flowable, and more secure for um, protection purposes. Well, I think we're gonna when we meet with the architect tomorrow, we're gonna see what he has planned because if we're gonna move some offices back there, I mean if it's doable now, then we just do it right. instead of leaving it. But the, back the but um. The current offices now, we should wait after election there because we'll have to establish temporary offices while they do it. Oh, yeah. The, I don't even think that the addition would be done for the election, which is basically what we want to get for. But we'll see. For, I don't know. Maybe. Was so. That was the whole. That, that was the presidential. Whole. Yeah. Because it was, I mean, uh, we do what we can do with the space we have, but, you know, as we grow as a community, we're running out of space, so we don't grow. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would suggest looking into pre pad construction also instead of the conventional state bill. Okay. Is that, I'm, not, I'm, just I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Prefabricated construction where they can build your panels. So they can build your panels in a warehouse. They're all built in a climate control. They're, they're nailed together, they're insulated, they're wired, they're plumbed, and they come out on a truck and they just. Do you have any stand that you could recommend? I, no, I, okay. last, the last house I ever built was a stick built house, and that was 25, 30 yeah, years don't ago. Don't work with um, NV homes? Isn't that what they do? Yeah. Well, we'll ask our building yeah. inspector. <coughs> yeah, same I mean, that, that'll cut down on your time, by Leaves and bounds, so. Yeah, and those, them are adequate, too, because yes. they're built inside, and so. Okay. If there's nothing else, um, we're up for adjournment. I make a motion to adjourn. To four. Okay, motion to, I mean, we have motion and support to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you everybody for coming. coming. Thank you. Nice Thank to you see guys. more and more people.